Hello, and welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Since last time, there have actually been two micro-patches, which have fixed a lot of the things we're running into, you know, like big cursor mode and all that sort of stuff. One thing it did fix is we got a whole ton of achievements when I loaded up the game. Uh, so if you have been playing the game and you've been like, oh, where have all my achievements gone? I believe the latest patch will have fixed that. So, um, we are in this area inside Rilu Vorlesh's laboratory, and I think we need to explore this area some more because I was given a clue in Discord, which basically said um, we need to explore this area because there may be something else in it. And I'm guessing Let it's up off. here because this um, is an area we haven't revealed the uh, map on. But I don't know. We're just going to kind of explore around and see if we can find whatever it is we're looking for. Um, yeah, that's basically the plan. See if there's something else on this map that we could potentially use for some reason. Okay, over here, nothing. Oh yes, also, um, just to talk about the secret ending a little bit, because obviously this was one of the reasons why we couldn't do the secret ending. Apparently there are other story choices that I've made throughout the game which apparently preclude us from the secret ending. I uh, have no clue. Um, but I think it's probably worth us, just from now on, shooting demon lords with midnight bolts anyway. Um, just because it allows us to pick up things, and even if it doesn't let us into the secret ending, maybe there's like, you know, a not quite so secret but still interesting ending. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing this must Follow be what me. I was told to find. Um, okay, we'll leave that for just now, I just want to explore the rest of the map. Hmm. So I wonder where this takes us. Okay. Well, I'm going to quick save and then we're going to click on it. And we'll see whether we want to come back here or not. Why are you walking so slowly? Oh, Is it just looking fun. slow? Or are you actually slow? You might actually be slow. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to take off his boots and put them back on again. There you go. Just so we definitely... Yeah, I don't think he had freedom of movement before. So now he should be moving at the same... Yeah, now he's moving at the same speed as oh, everyone what? else. Cool. Right, well. Uh, quick save. And click on whatever this is. Oh. Okay. A loot room? You know, I can I can vibe with a loot room. That's, that's, that's kind of good. Yeah. Okay. Just lots of loot in a room. Ooh, what's this? Relu Vorlesh's drafts. A large pile of unsorted notes, drafts, and sketches of various arcane rituals. Magic researchers could potentially glean something useful from this material. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So it might be another thing that leads into like some of the other magical research that we found as well. Ooh, there was something else I was told to do as well. I've just remembered, uh, we will have a look at that in a second, I'm going to head outside. I was told to look at the lexicon of paradox that I have, because apparently it's a full book now. Um, I don't remember ever picking it up, or even having one, but let's have a look. Is this lexicon? That's treaties. Uh, somewhere in here there's got to be the lexicon of paradox, although I have no idea what it looks like. Is it these ones? Ah, yeah, it's these ones. So if I use this, aha, uh -huh, there we go. The letters written by the hand of Aurelu Vorlesh appear to have a, a life all of their own. A moment's uh, inattention and they begin to disperse, changing shape and moving towards the edge of the page as though they are planning to leap off. The commander lays the second part of the lexicon of paradox next to the first, and the movement of the letters becomes more um, intelligible. The lines of both parts now seem drawn to each other, straining to unite and form new sentences. Place the blank page from the storyteller's book between the two halves of the lexicon of paradox? Alright then. The blank page obtained from the storyteller fits seamlessly between the two halves of the lexicon as if it was always meant to be there. As if this page had once been found by Aurelio Vorlesh, um, who saw its hidden potential and used the storyteller's knowledge lost in the depths of time as a this is a foundation for developing the process to open the world wound. After a, f a few moments, words appear begin to appear on the once blank page. Words that have shifted f uh, 
there from the two halves of the book. These words form phrases that reveal the precious secrets of the lexicon of paradox. The transformation process was initially conceived by me as a power source. However, in the course of my experiments, I learned that it partially solves the problem of the slow demise of the key. The power that manifests after transformation, I'm almost certain the mortals will devise some overblown name for it like mythic or legendary, serves as an effective shield against the poisonous influence of the wound. Problems arise when it is used. The power it is... the power. When the power is expended, for instance, in combat, the shield is weakened and the infiltrating uh, emanations of the wounds strike the key, wounding it and robbing it of its life force. Uh, this problem is immaterial in comparison to the second. The power increase after transformation is not infinite, nor is its protective effect. I managed to stave off death of the key for several decades, but even despite achieving the extreme level of power bestowed by the transformation, at some point the key's protection will weaken. The whirlwind will prevail and consume the soul of the key. I must admit that my research has come to a dead end. I've developed the power of the transformation process to its very limit, and I've failed to find a way to completely cure the wound's effects except for extreme measures. At this, the secret writings of Rilu Vorlesh come to an end. Whatever their significance, their contents will undoubtedly be of use to the commander in the future. As if reading the commander's thoughts, the lexicon separates into two halves once more. Okay, so... The slow demise of the key is obviously where the key... Um, yeah, the power that manifests after the transformation would be mythic power. Again, that's us. Uh, when it is expended, for, exi uh, for instance, in combat, the shield is weakened and infiltrating emanations of the wound strike the key. So the more we use our power, the quicker we're going to die. Okay. And it's not infinite. So eventually it will you know, go away and then we'll die. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It's good knowledge to have. Uh, we kind of already knew a lot of what it was telling us, but still, good knowledge to have. Let's move. Oh, can I um, do the other things with that book as well? Uh, let's just quick save, because I just did straight up the blank page. There were two other options. I'm assuming the two other options led you to nothing. Yeah, all it does is let you reread the secret ones. Okay, cool. Well, we got a whole bunch of new stuff, and it is time for us to move on. Oh, I did make a small change to our buffing uh, from previously. Um, now, previously, I was using Greater Heroism as one of our buffs, which is a sixth level spell. Um, I'm actually using the Heroism I from us uh, at the moment instead of using Greater Heroism. The reason for that is I noticed that for Chain Lightning, being a 6th level spell, we were only getting, you know, a very small number of uses. I think we're only getting 3 uses of Chain Lightning. And right now, Chain Lightning is a very useful spell to have. So, I basically made the call Follow that it's me. probably more useful to have Chain Lightning than to have uh, anything else from it. So that's why uh, we've done that buff change. Shouldn't matter too much, in theory. We should still be much better off than we were in the previous fight where we didn't buff at all. Okay, so we're back in March this on. area. What? <laughs> the camera did a weird jump there. Uh, what was if we go straight forward? Setri Devame? Who the hell is Setri Devame? Uh, loot? Interrogation record. The prisoner was asked three questions. What was the source of her sinful power? Who taught her the craft? And what deeds was she intending to pursue by using it? So he's probably the interrogator. Having not received an answer, the interrogator called first for the use of sample means of loosening a criminal's tongue, or simple means of loosening a criminal's tongue, but for the more intricate tools to be kept in clear view also for the purposes of intimidation. When all these measures failed to produce results, dot, dot, dot. Oh. Okay. Interesting. We'll grab that. We'll take a step closer. I mean, if you're not going to talk to me immediately, I'm going to loot everything first. Denunciation. 
I beg you to inform the first hunter and the high interrogator that the, pre uh, that the prisoner, Aurelia Vorlesh, is covertly preparing a ritual of unthinkable scale. If she's not stopped, the consequences will be devastating. I beseech you to be uh, prudent. Prisoner Opon. So another prisoner was trying to rat her out. Obviously, they didn't listen. The Code of the Hunters of Threshold. I am a hunter of Threshold, the best among the best. I am the keeper of Sarkoris, its protector against the corruption and machinations um, and powers sinful and poisoned. I feel the gaze of the ancestors and the gods upon me. I will follow the trail of any beast, be it demon, hag, witch, or rogue mage. I will root them out in any land, in any pit, in any den. Those who surrender I will imprison. Those who resist I will slay without hesitation. There is nothing I would not do to repel the corruption, for I am all that stands between the land and its people, and horrifying calamities. I am a hunter of threshold. Interesting. Okay, so they're obviously the people who captured a Rilu. Let me read that again. Not not in full, but just so that we can see that new bit on there. Uh, right. Hunter of Threshold. Protector against corruption. blah de blah de blah Yeah. Follow the trail of any beast, be it demon, hag, witch, or rogue mage. Okay. And if they resist, he will slay them. So, obviously, Arelu's child seems to be fitting into, like, one of these groups so far. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, I'm seeing where it might link together. Anyway, set three, Devima, uh, Devami. Hello. Just waiting for it to save. The ghost standing before you used to be a tall man, built like a warrior. But death has twisted his features and bent his back. His eye sockets are empty, his body mutilated, and his face a mask of insanity. Forgiveness. I beg forgiveness. Nobody else should suffer for what I've done. I had to protect the people of Sarkoris. I killed. I killed. Show the stern hand. Do you recognize this hunter? Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Who are you, ghost? Only half of our unit returned a nasty fight. We thought the witch would be alone. I didn't know. I didn't know. I killed. I had no idea who I was killing. Oh, okay. What are you seeking forgiveness for? My, 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 my name is Zetri Devame of the Foundlast clan. I'm a witch hunter, the first th hunter of Threshold. I chased them, found them, fished them out of their holes and their hidden lairs, broke their spells, crushed their defenses, the first, the best. I fought entire covens by myself. I led an army of my brothers in arms to battle. But then, this death, I killed. Oh, if only I hadn't killed. What are you talking about? Only half our unit returned. A nasty fight. We thought the witch would be alone. I did. I didn't know. I didn't know. I killed. I had no idea who I was killing. All right. Do you recognize this hunter? This. This is my hand. How stern its grip was. Men and women knew it. Witches and sorcerers alike. It was not my hand. It was the hand of Sarkoris itself. What are you talking about? Okay. So we seem to be lo looping a little bit. Who are you? Ah, there we go. So we actually got. So I said, what are you seeking forgiveness for? And we got a different one. I, should have, I shouldn't have taken her to Threshold. I should have slain her where she stood. She didn't resist for the first few days. She didn't even understand where she was or where we were taking her. She just kept repeating, I promise, I promise. What are you talking about? It's a chorus blessed by the gods. I was supposed to protect you. For you, I fought on holy sorcerers, witches, and all the other who's, who tainted the sanctity of magic and offended you. I did what I had to do because I had to. Oh, I... Oh, why? What did I do wrong? Okay, so it seems like this is a conversation that can loop, but you can also get through to like the next section if you get the right things. What are you talking about? Yes, yeah, so we've already had this. My name is hey, all of this. Uh, what are you talking about? There you go. She led me, walking arm in arm. My eyes were gone. I could still hear the screams. She described what I could not see. Is dying light the step? The Viscaver swarm descending upon the last unit still trying to hold the line, she said. Here are the cultists dancing and raising their daggers to stab their prisoners through the heart. Here is the last bastion of your clan, the Foundlast. 
Do you want to know what happened to them, Hunter? I didn't want to. I couldn't help but ask. Am I, am I to blame for this? What are you talking about? Alright, so we've already done that one. What are you seeking forgiveness for? Yeah, so I believe we've gone through all of these now. I'm just going to continue clicking. Yeah, you're insane. Oh, okay, new stuff. As if awakened by your voice, the ghost raises his head and speaks in the assertive tone of someone accustomed to giving orders. I am Setri Devame of the Foundlast Clan, the, la the first hunter of Threshold, protector of Sarkoris, and the witch's nemesis, the best hunter of my land. I received an order to capture the witch, Rilu Vorlesh, and I carried out that order. I brought her to Threshold as a prisoner. I killed the witch's accomplice. I killed her. Hmm. Uh, you've been stuck in this world for far too long, let go of your past and go face Phrasma's judgement, or you used to execute and imprison Sarkorian mages. No, I think we're probably happy for him to pass on at this point. It, it seems like more of the natural thing to do. And he also, I would guess, is trapped here because of Arilu more than anything else, if he's real. But anyway, go face Phrasma's judgement. You forgive me, the ghost whispers, then he shudders, utters a deep sigh and slowly vanishes into thin air. We didn't necessarily forgive him. We just said that he should go face Phrasma's judgement. That's not quite the same thing. We just said he should be judged. We didn't say he should be forgiven. Um, but, you know. That's fine. Carrying on. So, obviously, it does seem like the hunters appeared. That guy went and killed Arilu's child. Arilu was kind of dazed for a little bit, got imprisoned in Threshold, and then promised revenge, and then, you know, opened the world wound as revenge. That would seem logical. Ooh. Okay, Let something we can click off. on. Oh yeah, also I wanted to look at the stern hand, because I don't remem uh, remember ha picking that up. We might have done it at the end of last episode and I just forgot. Uh, or we may have picked it up ages ago. So stern. So it's going to be after all of the scrolls, because all scrolls start with the word scroll. Silver. Special. Continuing to look for anything that looks like... Alright, so if it's in here, it's got to be further back here. Just looking for anything that looks like a hand. So it's not there. Maybe it's the stern hand? Or maybe now we've shown it to him. That's... That's it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe now we've shown it to him, we lost it out of our inventory as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go back here for a second. Stern hand. Stern hand. We showed it fairly early on in the conversation. I just want to see if we lost it from our inventory or if we had it before or whatever. Uh, no. Okay. So I, I don't really know where the stern hand is. Maybe I missed it when I looked through it previously. What one last little... I suppose it would be a key item, right? Yeah, so I don't even see anything that looks like a hand here. No. Okay. Well, I don't know what it is, but I guess we had it, which is good. Either that or we you're just meant to have it at this point. Ooh, Opon, the, the other prisoner. Thick smoke rises from the brazier and uh, before you. In its uh, curling haze, you can see a pale, haggard face with a bleeding spiral carved into his forehead. Or into its forehead. Who disturbs my restless vigil? A friend? A foe? It doesn't matter. I haven't spoken with anyone in so long. I'd be happy to hear the sound of any living voice. Ah, and there we've got a ring of summoning for him. Who are you? In life, my name was Opon, and I was a talented spellcaster. One of the most powerful in the land of Sarkoris. I was also the most arrogant. I believed I could always escape from the Hunters of Threshold and that my talent would never fail me. What a hollow, misguided belief. The Hunters eventually caught me and locked me in this cursed prison and I died within its walls. Now I am here, bound to this brazier for all eternity, in a place that looks like the cell where I spent ten years of my life and died. I've seen a letter of, uh, denunci of denunciation uh, signed by you. Yes, the ghost whispers. Yes, I informed her. I told the guards about the ritual she was working on. 
I tried to prevent the inevitable, but it was too late. That was the, a commendable thing to do. Too bad it failed to prevent the catastrophe. But you did your duty honestly. This sounds almost like the word like words of comfort, not what I expected from you. You seem to have decided that I feel pity for Opon and want to tell him something nice. But pity is the worst of all emotions. I have just acknowledged the merits of those who deserve it. Um You're a criminal, you cannot hide from the eyes of an Aeon. I think we can maybe uh, chill just for a second. This ring used to belong to you, didn't it? Yes, that is my ring. It's been so long since I felt its cool embrace around my finger. Setri Devame's wolf took it, along with a chunk of my flesh. You repaired it, I'm glad. Oh, so these are things that I've been finding throughout the, um, like, random relics that I've been finding. Okay, so we found his ring of summoning, and then we were, had repaired it. Oh, okay, cool. So the stern hand might not be with us because I might have chucked it into our chest back in, um, yeah, uh, back in Dresden. But we still have it so we could have the conversation about it. Aha! Now it's all clicking together. So you wanted to start a rebellion in Sarkoris? Yes, I did. I didn't want violence, but I guess I knew from the start that it was unavoidable. I just wanted to make everyone admit that we were people too. I wanted them to stop hunting us down and imprisoning us. The great changes never come without bloodshed. You could have hidden much. Uh, you could have stayed hidden much longer if not for your bleeding heart. Yes, people always said I was too sentimental to be a rebel. But without compassion, how would we be any different from our enemies, or from the evil monsters we were accused of being? Yes, I was caught, like a fool, but I have nothing to be ashamed of. Arila Vorlesh uh, received your letter calling for rebellion. If only I had known back then what Arila would do. I would have declared her my enemy, not the elders of Sarkoris. Her crimes are a hundred times more serious. Although, both stem from the same place. From the violence and anger that our kinfolk used against uh, those who practiced arcane magic. It was Sarkoris' own poison that led to its downfall. I see. You must know that I never used my ring for evil purposes, though it is capable of doing terrible things. I ask you do likewise. How can I help you? A flicker of hope appears uh, in the ghost tired eyes. I don't know for sure, but... I am bound by a powerful spell, and by my own uneasy conscience. Both are keeping my soul from going down the path that all souls must follow. But... You can try and smash this brazier. Perhaps it will set me free or kill me. Um, I'd like to ask you about something else. Oh, do you have? Um, you're a criminal. You cannot hide from the eyes of the Aeon. Yes, I want to do this. I wasn't planning to try. The ghost allows himself a bitter chuckle. I was a spellcaster in Sarkoris. That alone constitutes a crime. Let alone the rest. And trust me, Aeon. I'd be happy if you decided to punish me and end this pathetic existence of mine. I've decided what to do with you. Um. Farewell, Opon. You deserve to rest in peace. Thank you. I don't know what lies ahead of me, the afterlife or oblivion, but either way, thank you. Yeah, was there not a thing? I'm starting to remember something about this place. Was the Relu's laboratory was, um... Like, it was Threshold as well or something like that. Or, like, it was bits of it. It was a portal to her own prison that she had taken as a laboratory or something. I kind of remembering something Follow like me. that. Unless, of course, I'm mixing it with Baphomet's story. So that would explain why we have all of these people from Threshold here. Okay. I'm happy with my choices so far. Now, the Ring of Summoning uh, should be... Is, yeah, there we go. Ring of Summoning. So it's this one. So if we have a look at that... Aha! You witness events as though you live them yourself. So this is your brother of magic, Opon. So that's um, his rebellion stuff here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of looking through here. So all of this is so far just about his rebellion. So none of that matters. So there's Set 3 Devame, previously mentioned... Um, 
we previously heard about him in this, I guess, before we saw him here. Okay. I'm just continuing to go down. Uh, yeah. He brought soul eaters um, out. I will what? What can I do? My beloved is stretched out before my eyes. How many houses are there around me? How many families? Okay. Would you watch them die screaming? I'm shaking as if someone has walked to my grave. I stand there shivering, afraid of myself as time slips away. Okay, so he was going to be... He was like, am I going to resist? But there's too many people around for him to resist. Because he would cause, like, you know, unseen... He would, he would cause casualties from, um, like, all the people around. I was trying to think of the right word, but I've kind of... It's failing me here. But anyway, essentially, he, he didn't want to just uh, cause destruction in is. So that's why he backed off, unlike Arilu, who is absolutely happy to destroy is. Right. Quick save. Continue moving forward. Okay. I'll count that as a puzzle solved. So, some sort of torture room. I would have to guess this was a Relu's room, but we do have a projector here. And what projector tells me is that we may fight at some point. So, I'm March just going to reorder ourselves slightly here. Um, so, this should at least mean that my spellcasters and uh, archer are in this the corner. And then we will click on the projector. Let's go. There are questions that are better left unasked. There are memories that ought to rouse a storm in your soul. But instead, you look into them and see nothing but emptiness. Unknowing is the worst punishment. Knowing, on the other hand, knowing is eternal, unabated pain. We will get you one day, betrayer of humanity. Then you'll learn what true punishment and pain are. Rachel, I think this is a recording. Hello. Oh. The image of Arilu projected by the magical device raises her head and looks into your eyes. There is no doubt that this time it's not a recording of another one of her experiments. Oh. I'm sorry, Rachel. This isn't a recording. I take it back. <laughs> um... You wanted me to end up here, didn't you? That's why you led me to find the crystal. Yes, I did. But I did not drag you here by force. I have never done that. I could give you a hint, prompt you, but never force you. You asked me a question and I answered. Now answer mine. When you were there, standing near the crib inside my ruined home, what did you feel? Hmm. Do we just answer honestly? Because I didn't feel sadness or rage. Not nothing in particular. I think closeness to mystery. That fits what I felt. I was like, ooh, a little nugget of lore. So be it. So be it. Where are you now, Rilu? I am where everything began. Threshold. Do not worry, I will not flee when you come here, not again. You will come, won't you? One of us must burn, so that the other may live, and the wound may be eliminated. I have another question for you. The hunter from Threshold. His ghost was imprisoned here. Why did you do what you did to him? Hmm. Let's see. Is, I think that... Um, it wasn't pity. I think it's between two and three here. Either he was fulfilling his duties, he didn't deserve such a horrible afterlife, or his guilt is indisputable, but he had already suffered enough. I think that we say three. I see. It was not I who killed him, made him a ghost, and imprisoned him here. He took his own life, and his guilty conscience did the rest. And yet he asked you for forgiveness. That is... odd. It makes no sense. I really wonder what the dragon mythic path is doing here. I'm just looking at this here going... Huh. What could this possibly be? It's just so... 
like out of place. There must be something. But um, because we don't even know what the dragon mythic path does, like it's not like swarm. We know what swarm does. Swarm is like you know, welcome to the swarm. Um, but dragon mythic path, it's like, hmm, I don't know what you're doing here. Anyway, why did you show me all that? Your past, the prison. You want me to pity you? Pity me? I did not throw the country that betrayed me into the demon's maw in order to be pitied. I did not do it even for revenge. I simply made a promise. Everyone needs to be pitied sometimes. People who say they don't want it seem to need it more than anyone else. Maybe if someone pitied you back then, a hundred years ago, there wouldn't be a world wound or a demon invasion or any other horrible things. Indeed. I was the fearsome witch Threshold's hunters were after. I began studying rifts and soul-changing forces long before they knocked on my door. I had no intention of applying such knowledge at the time, but... Some temptations are nigh on to impossible to resist. And one more thing I'd like to ask you. Why did you do what you did to that little traitor, Opon? I think that our answer here has to be number two. He deserve. I, because I'm not going to not answer her questions, which means it's one or two. It wasn't pity, it was that he deserved death out of the two. You know, our general thing is, let him be judged by Phrasma, not by us. He stabbed me in the back. But I didn't punish him for that, oh no. He was punished for lacking the courage to fight for his own freedom, and for choosing to grovel before his executioners. Now he is an eternal prisoner. What could be more appropriate? <laughs> it is so odd to realize that I once cared about so many things. That ideas like justice and revenge used to mean something. Well, I have nothing more to discuss with you. Farewell then. Threshold awaits. Oh. Onwards. Okay then. So we got a little lore with her. Wait a second. I just looked at our mini map and I was like, this area looks awfully suspicious. I mean, maybe it's not. But like, maybe there's a way. Yeah, I suppose there's one on either side. So maybe I'm going crazy. But given that it lets us see inside, maybe there's a secret in here. There's nothing to interact with. We don't have Dimension Door. I'm just curious. I don't... Maybe... Yeah, maybe these are nothing. Okay. I was just looking at it there like... But you can kind of see in. But I think that's because when we walk down the stairs, our light uh, reflects in there. Like our Aeon light does. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's click on this thing and see where it sends us. I'm guessing just out of here. But we kind of have a Relu's motivations now. Which is cool. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going back to the start. It, it feels like this is something that you need to know. But that in of itself isn't, like, mindful. Oh, day whatever. Experiment finally. That's right. At least I can try... Uh, at last I can try something serious. This is the hunters appearing. Cease your spellcasting, witch. You'll be brought to Threshold to stand trial. Daughter! Oh! Then he gets... She gets destroyed. I won't leave it like this. Do you hear me? I promise. I promise. Okay, and then she starts going crazy and just saying, I promise, I promise, over and over again. Let's move. Now you know. A furrow in the ground that looks like a wound. Heat from strange and dying coal spills out of the opening. When you find yourself next to a strange wound-like furrow on the ground, you feel a chill coming over you. We're immune to nauseated. But we would be nauseated. Huh. Interesting. So we have a direct connection to this. But we also have a direct connection just to a Relu in general, so... Hmm. And then this is her laboratory, right? Yeah, so this is just a loop. This is just a way to go back around the loop. Hmm. 
I was wondering whether part of like her experiments involved trying to bring back her daughter somehow, or like the tr and you know she was trying to do it through a connection, like she was trying to gain enough power to bring her back, something like that, and then that's why we have a direct connection there. I don't know. It could be nothing. I'm just spitballing ideas. Anyway, we're back at the world map. And I believe we have done everything. Yes, pretty much. All we have is return to Dresden. Now, the one thing that we haven't done is in here. We haven't done all of the decrees. Ooh, we've got drafts to read. Okay. 14 days to solve and another 14 days to solve. I want to do all of these. Now the question is, once we go into Dresden, are we committed? I suppose we can rest outside of Dresden, maybe? Hmm. That's interesting. I want to spend 28 days doing these. Let's fast travel back to Dresden. Quick save. Uh, how long have we gotten that? Six hours. Okay. So we can jump forward a little bit. Oh, that's because we're doing Bastion to Fortress. You know what? I'm just going to uh, cancel this one. Yeah. Let's do Arelu Vorlash's drafts instead. I think that's probably more exciting. Right. I'm then going to quick save, and I'm going to see whether we're allowed in Dresden without triggering the next steps. Like, whether we're allowed to delay, basically. If we are, well, then that's good. If we're not allowed to delay, then, you know, we're going to have to do some interesting things. But hopefully, it, it should allow us to just say, like, hey, wait, we don't want to go to Threshold yet. I need to prepare. I would think. We also want to spe uh, speak to the storyteller again. It's loading straight into something, isn't it? Yeah, because usually it lets you choose where in Dresden you want to go. Yeah, okay, so it loads directly into this. Okay. The gates of Dresden are open wide, and the army that came back from Is is standing before you. Hundreds of eyes are watching your triumphant return to the city. Or to your city. Um, I'm also thinking that perhaps... Um, this is just a cutscene that you get once you rescue the queen, and it's not necessarily related to, um, like, to the last forces um, you're going to attack dre um, threshold thing. The Inevitables and the Axiomites stand to att at attention. The ranks are just as perfect as the cohorts of your own warriors. Nothing can break your army. No discord can warp these precious formations or wipe the determination from your soldiers' faces. The Crusaders of Mendev watch you and your followers with hope and reverence. They greet you with welcoming shouts and enthusiastic salutes. Welcome. I see you have returned. You once again saved me from death and our army from inglorious defeat. I may have been the one to call this crusade, but it was you who became its very soul and chief strategist of the entire campaign. All hail the commander. Long live our heroine. I think we're just going to salute. The queen responds with a sharp salute, and all of her knights follow. But now the crusade must face Threshold. It is time for the final confrontation. The last bloody and decisive battle. Few of us will come back alive. Give us all a few words before you lead us on what is to be our final push. The army is waiting for your words. And you don't have to think of what to say. The universe provides all the answers. The Aeons... Omnis um, omnis the Aeon's omniscient uh, mind is aware of the yearning of every soul lined up before you. Hmm. Um, just seeing what we're going to go for here. Soldiers, you know why you are here. The wound is disrupting the balance of worlds. Order must be restored and we will restore it no matter the cost. Thesis supported. The demons have sown chaos for far too long. We'll put an end to this. Um. Ooh. Okay. 
Um, don't be deceived. You are not fighting for me and I will not be your commander forever. After my duties as commander are complete, I will resign and only perform the duties of an Aeon. It will be only just. Okay. So the other option, by the way, is that we can create a Bastion of Justice. Interesting. I, I definitely think that the first option is what we would go for. We'll give up our power once we've used it. The Aeon's duties are estimated to, um, as having higher priority. This is an expected conclusion. You have shown us the way. We will follow. Okay. Um... I'm just going to see where we're going to go for. Unflinching discipline is the cornerstone of victory. Fight like the champions of order that you are, and nobody else will have to perish at the hands of chaos. We are the forces of order. Chaos is nothing before us. The warriors raise their hands in a coordinated salute. Each of them has something to fight for, but right now, they are the last line of defense between Galarian and Chaos, and they will fight to the last. The storyteller wants to speak to us. The storyteller appears behind you as if from nowhere. The storyteller bows. Commander, I heard stories of Aeons in my travels. They were majestic and powerful, but none of them had your ability to inspire passion for justice in other people. It is a treasured gift. Make sure not to lose it. You've chosen to follow the path that calls you. A solitary path among worlds and celestial bodies. One that will take you even uh, ever further away from, the mo uh, from mortals. You will see the hidden workings of the universe. I should be happy for you. But I can't help being a little envious of the, um, that... But I can't help but being a little envious that knowledge of these secrets will be yours and not mine. Okay, yeah, you see, this This isn't actually the last step. This is the step before the last step, so we could actually just leave. Onwards. Yeah, okay. That's what I wanted to check, is that we weren't committed to doing it now. We're committed at some point to do it. And now we've discovered where Threshold is. Oh, uh, okay, see, launch the final assault. Let so we can still off. go out and um, do things if we want to. Storyteller! I have another page for you? Which seems impossible. Also, we found Kinney. Um, I bring word from Kinney, your friend. His soul was being held by a Reshkagel all these millennia, and I helped him break free. He asked me to tell you that the warm spice wine you two used to share in the tower was the best wine he drank in his life. The storyteller flinches. Kinney, my friend. After all this time, I never expected to hear your name, to hear word from you. I didn't think this would still matter to me after so many years. And yet I am glad, touched, saddened. I cannot make sense of what I'm feeling. He remembered the wine. We oft times sat there on the tower's balcony, I... He lets out a sigh, then smiles. I apologize, but I am not willing to continue this discussion. It is too personal. But I thank you for helping Kinney find peace. I found a page that might interest you. Another page? But I've already learned my entire story. Could it be... There is another. This can't be true, but still, I see it. Another story hidden in these pages will open before us. Three paces to the left, there is a stone wall. Three paces to the right, there is a stone wall. Beneath me, there is a rough stone floor. And around me, there is only stone, like cold like the hearts of my captors. We've had this already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caught, imprisoned. We'll see in the next section whether we've actually had this all already, but I believe we have. Imprisoned, here in this black hole, this dungeon. No sky, no sun, forever and ever, until I die. Jagged nails scratch the stone walls, crumbling, uh, crumbled teeth biting through lips. Then human roar crawling out of a throat. The animal they turned me into is roaring. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've already done this whole thing. This is a really loose one. So that must have just been a bang... Uh, yeah, so these are all the same page. So all the extra pages we found are all blank pages. I guess they really didn't want you to miss it. So they put in like three or four extra ones just so that you were, you know. So you had a chance of not missing it. Oh yeah, I was told that Wilsur might have a quest for us. Permission to speak, Commander. The Quartermaster frowns. I don't enjoy telling you this, but we've got trouble. Soldiers are gone missing from the camp. They're gone a day, sometimes two, and we find their bodies mauled so badly that even scouts can't hold back their tears. 
I've seen all kinds of terrors during this war, but the sight of those remains sends shivers down my spine. It doesn't happen often. We usually only lose one or two people each month. It's a minor loss in the grand scheme of things, but it's been happening for a while. Yes, it started right after you left for the abyss. But the scouts brought news the, uh, just the other day. They say it's the work of one band of demon, vile beasts, even worse than the rest. We're almost at the end of our tether. The lads are asking you, Commander. Give us the word and track them and hunt them down like the cursed monsters that they are. We want vengeance. Uh, we will track down the demons and exact vengeance for, vengeance for the fallen. Ah, oh, the lads will be happy. They've been itching to find these beasts and get even. Oh, okay. Everything's in the fortress. Ah, oh, we're still alive thanks to you. I thought we were done for. Uh, that starvation, cold, and lack of supplies would finish us off. But folks weren't lying when they said the commander always finishes what she started. You dragged us out of trouble by the scruff of her neck. Much obliged. Alright, so we have another quest to do. Um, bulk selling. Go to type, and then we'll start selling even more of these things. Not that I think money matters too much, but more because I want to reduce the weight in my inventory. Uh, get rid of that one. Yep, all of those. Uh, quarter staff can go. That's radiance. Um, I guess we never re-equipped it. Okay, probably should do that. Um, that seems sensible. Tower shield we can get rid of. Wait, we can also get rid of the heavy shields. It's fine. Adamantian chain mail. Get rid of these, get rid of that, get rid of that. Light shield, yeah, get rid of it. This is all fine to get rid of. Um, get rid of that one, get rid of those. We'll keep the masks for just now. Um, yeah, get rid of that one. Cool. That seems like about what we need to get rid of. Gives us another little injection of cash that we don't need. Cool. Let's move. Right. We're gonna head back up here. Um because we want to go into this area just to uh drop off a few things, and then I guess we're gonna go out and do that quest. Yeah. Didn't really mean to close that door, but there you have it. Can I speak to Follow the queen me. in here? I was told, by the way, that apparently if you rescue the queen earlier. Uh, she becomes a part of all your council meetings, which is kind of neat, and that's what gives you some extra options. But anyway, um, we didn't. I, it would definitely make some of them different, like the one where they rise up to um, overthrow us because they want to go and join the Queen would probably be very different. But anyway. Galfrey looks at the Towers of Dresden with clear, if slightly sad, eyes. Dresden. Dresden. Uh, I remember the early days of this city. It's strange to think that it's younger than I am. This isn't the first time I've seen it prosper, and I hope, I'll, um, I hope to never see its final fall. You look sad. I hope it's not the spreading sadness ar I hope I'm not spreading sadness around me like the plague. We must all steal ourselves for the final push, but it's not easy for me to keep up the facade of equanimity in my heart. I can't shape the feeling of, well, autumn, of falling leaves, of winter approaching, I suppose this must be normal for an old woman like me. Hmm. We can hand over the hand of, uh, sorry, the covenant of the inheritor. Absolutely not. What awaits us at threshold? Ah, oh, we can only guess, but I am not fond of guessing. She says, steel in her voice. The threshold fortress is the source of all our troubles. It was where this all began, and it is where this must end. In the hundred years of the Crusades, we still haven't the slightest idea where, um, what it has become. The raging, magical energy so heavily altered it that no spells or living scouts have been able to approach it. What are you going to do after our victory? Hmm. Perhaps I'll plant, um, Nasturiums and get a canary? I really don't know, Commander. Right now I'm looking at the looming storm clouds. As to what comes after, well, let us worry about it after. I have to go. I'm not giving you the covenant. It's mine. Um... <laughs> You know, it's my precious. Right. Uh, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We're probably not going to use this one. We should have a look at that one. Radiance we need to equip. Get rid of that one and that one. 
and that one because we're the only person who uses shields. Yeah. Okay. Something like that seems good. Um, seal? Wait, we have two radiances? How did that happen? Wait, what? We have the old radiance and the new radiance? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, for real, how did that happen? I... Okay. Um... Well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I guess we're using radiance. Yeah. Um, we're a good aligned mythic creature, sort of. Not really, but you know. We can have radiance, and she can have radiance, but we also have Finian. Okay. That kind of works. It's a little weird that we both have one, but you know, whatever. We could make her dual wield radiances. It's an idea. Um, right. And then the other one is you for your secondary set. Wait, is this, this isn't a throwing axe. It's just a hand axe. Yeah. So is this better than either of these? Absolutely not. No. This is <laughs> not even close. <laughs> okay. Um, get rid of both of those. Cool. Mirror. Mirror's cool. Okay, nothing in there. Right, um, hmm, hmm, outside, area exit, we're going to take the same party, this isn't necessarily the party we're taking to Threshold, but this is the party that I'm taking to that quest that we just got, just because we've already buffed, and if it's nearby then that's good, if it's not nearby it doesn't really matter either, but uh, it's the party we're taking, um, where is this quest? Yeah. Oh, is this a... Let me just go around here. So, we know Threshold's in there. Is this it? That might be the Demon Army. Yeah, that might be the Demon Army we need to clear. Because it's the only new one on the map. Uh, let's see. It's level 13, so I should probably send this one over to it. Yeah, that's fine. Just let it go around. Um, I could rest here, I suppose. If I rested here, we can then move that army over. And we'll have this activated. Yeah, that seems sensible. Let's do that. A gnome used to live on the street with us. He was grey and pale, just like you. He would get in tavern brawls all the time, to live longer, he said. But he got killed in one of those fights. Only cowards run from death. You can't escape it, no matter what. It's better to face it than let it stab you in the back. Oh. Okay, then. Right. Um, new alley battalion. Actually, let's do this first. Oh, let's do this first. So we got our 10 fire elementals. Um, how long does this one take? Five days. We don't really need a crusade boost in terms of morale. So I guess we'll just ignore it. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go. Time manipulation. So now... Um, You've already... Have we moved our uh, alley battalion? No. Right. So we'll move it as far as it can go. Then we're going to go forward a couple of hours. Is so we're going to... I don't want to skip day. I just want to skip time. There you go. Till then. Awesome. Now we can do this one. So uh, the blood spring has been destroyed. Crusade morale increased by 49. Uh, the fate of the remains of the colorless one. So, we can choose what item they should create. Arrows, a breastplate, or spectacles. What about arrows? We don't get a lot of arrows. Sure. The weaponsmiths broke the armor's remains into shards and fashioned them into arrowheads. Sharp and hard, these arrows will pierce any armor. 
Cool. World L Wound Researchers is back. We've almost finished uh, Ray Vorlesh's drafts. Uh, let's do another The Fate of. Here we also will do this one. Also do World Wound Researchers. Cool. Right, back to the, well that's fine. We're done there then. Right. Back to our army. Back to the alley battalion. Continue. Do a little quick save here. And then we're gonna send it directly into this fight. Let's go. What's the what are these? Okay, something weird was happening there. Anyway, um Stun. Okay, didn't get it. That's fine. I knew I could kill the Baylors in one hit, so I was like, maybe we could try and kill or try and stun that one, but we can actually kill it as well. Wonderful. So I believe we've already won. That's okay. Uh, just send them forward to do some attacking. Oh yeah, why don't you get a third hit as well? Very good job. Uh, mark and attack. Then do it again. Um, yeah, you can run forward a little bit. Run up. Run up. Not that it should matter because you're dead. Wonderful. I do love that its ranking system ranks that army st uh, as like st stronger than our army. And it's just like, they're not even close. Done. Errand complete. Um, I could send you down there, but it really doesn't matter too much. Wait, did that say enemy army approaching? I thought it did, but that might have been the army that we literally just killed. I believe it was the one that we literally just killed. That's the devil area, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, cool. Let's head back into Dresden. Um, and back to the street. We can then go and have a talk with Wilser again, complete his quest, um, if he's got anything more to do with it. And then probably we just skip time. Like a lot of time. Just to finish your Relu stuff. Yeah, that probably seems like the best plan, I think. Anyway. Just wait for that to... Uh Finish. There we go. Right. Up here. Uh, oh, we don't have s speed. We, we could give ourselves that. Where Where is it? We're already all, almost all the way here, and I'm like, oh yeah, there we go. Speediest retreat. The demon squad you mentioned earlier has been destroyed. We have avenged the deaths of our soldiers. Oh, thank you, Commander. Thank you very much. Uh, many of those who died were my friends, and it, it was them who made that figurine for you, prayed for your safe return from the abyss, pitched in for that gift and more. I'll make sure to tell everyone how much you care about the common folk. We'll all be forever grateful. Oh, well, nice. Okay. Really not a lot <laughs> else there. It's just like, okay, cool. See ya. Oh, yeah, is that the, um, of course, the uh, Sword of Valor is back now. I completely forgot. I guess, you know, it makes sense that it's back, doesn't it? Right. So in here, around here. Quick save. I might make a real save as well. Just before skipping time. Just in case, you know, for some reason, um, we want to come back to this spot. Right. Saving, saving, saving. Proceed. So it shouldn't take um, as long as it said it was going to take, because it was going to take 28 days, but we do get to skip, like, 9 days every uh, 13 days. So it takes a little bit less time than it said it would, but still. Oh, I can't use my ability from this screen? Wait, can, can I use it on that one? I can. Okay, cool. So in 12 days we'll get to do that. So I'm going to go for skip day. 
cool. Yep, this is that. That's the new one. Skip day. A uh, great commemoration. Uh, we could spend forty thousand on that. I mean, I have a lot. Let's just get that started anyway. Um, double check that there's nothing, like no demon armies are spawning. Not as far as I can see. I think there's a chance that demon armies won't spawn from this point onwards, which is nice. Right. Skip day. Having meticulously studied the notes, scholars and mages have discovered that Aurelia Vorlish was opening, uh, was studying the connection. I'll try that again. I read the wrong line <laughs> halfway through there. Discovered that Aurelia Vorlish was studying the connection that was established between the material plane and the abyss when the world wound opened. She arrived at the conclusion that the wound is an, emer is an energy conductor of sorts. Um, one end of which was fused into the fabric of the material plane, the other into the abyss, specifically into the realms of Nocticula, Discari, and Baphomet. From this, a bold hypothesis suggests that if one were to take um, control over the world wound and its energies, this individual would be able to affect both Galarian and these abyssal lands. However, such influence would undoubtedly be blocked by the masters of these abyssal realms, as they uh, hold semi-divine power within their respective borders. Okay. Hmm. But as these people were working with the Rilu, that's interesting. Because they're working with the Rilu, but it's also saying they would try and block her. So you would assume that this is all part of Rilu's plan. That at some point, like that, you know, she had to work with them so she could then betray them later or something. Anyway, um, that's fine. We'll do this one. Events. Mysterious poison. Um, several soldiers returned from the battlefield poisoned. The alchemists claimed their bodies contained um, a unique poison. It must be extracted along with the blood, uh, with the blood, because the poison will be ruined after the person's death. The healers, however, asked them the commander to give the victims a chance to be saved. All right, so alchemists are wanting to get the poison to use it, while um, yes, yeah, so we get one level to the poison ability. I see. Or we can treat the soldiers. Uh, let's do that one. There we go. We're not going to kill the soldiers for their poison. Like, we're not even fighting anything anymore. Like, literally, we don't fight enemies. But it's like, nah, I still want poison blades, you know? Sounds cool. Got another nine days on that one. Okay. Um, Relic will be augmented. Royal Parade is now done. Fire elements will is done. The fate of Baphomet's uh, fire. Do I want robes or gloves? Um, I want robes. Yeah. Um, experienced mage placed Baphomet's flame inside magical coals, which he then used to adorn a robe sewn for the commander. Awesome. Uh, we're now going to go to enhancing the remains of the colorless one. Right. Campaign. I mean, if we don't get attacked, there's no reason not to finish off every special item as well while we're here. Uh, how long have we got left on that one? Seven days. Okay, cool. One. Okay, so that's enhancing Baphomet's flame. I'm still going to do the check every time. It might not do it if you skip time from this screen, to be fair, as well. Two. Three. Goldwind Researchers is now there. Campaign. We should be able to kill anything that appears anyway, like, fairly quickly. Event? Epidemic of Secrets. A strange disease is afflicting the soldiers. Mouths grow on the soldiers' skin and whisper various secrets related to the events happening in the army. The healers claim that with each secret, the health of the victim deteriorates. So I can turn the magical disease against its creator. All enemy units get uh, dissociated for three days. Kill the sick and prevent secrets from spreading, or order the healers to save everyone. We get plus one to reductions of losses. Sure. Save everyone. Uh, wonderful. That seems good. Um, skip day. A random allied crusader army was recruited to the commander's headquarters. We got any, um, enemies? Nope. No enemies. Okay. So what's our new force? Oh, just like, I guess it's this one. Random forces. Of many types. We could start merging them together. There you go. 
just increase the size of some of these ones randomly as well. Right, uh, back over here. Oh, right, yeah. How long have we got left on that? Three days. Cool. Uh, we get another one of these uh, ones here. Let's just do call the Aeons again. I guess we'll get more of them. Awesome. Right. Um, skip day. Hey, we are being attacked. Right. Uh, so, uh, the col colorless one's unholy spirit still lives within the gear crafted from its remains. The dark sorceries of demon worshippers can awaken the spirit and empower the relic. Do we want to awaken the madness of the colorless one? Which says, the owner of this quiver can shoot 20 units of ammunition per day. When the wielder of this ammunition lands a first hit against a new enemy, the enemy must pass a will saving throw or suffer 2d4 ability damage to intelligence. Doesn't affect creatures of intelligence lower than 3. Uh, and become confused for 3 rounds. Or, he can offer prey to Jubilex. Whenever the wielder of this ammunition lands a hit, the enemy must pass a fortitude saving throw but stunned and vulnerable to sonic damage for three rounds. So stunned or lord intelligence? I think stun is uh, better. A captured cultist sent a prayer to Jubilex, lord of poison and ooze. This has awakened the colorless ones in famous qualities, rancor and terrible hunger within its remains. Awesome. As he sounds very useful. Uh, we'll take enhancing Raphomet's fire next and then... Where are the enemies? So we have one up here. Which I'm sure you'll be able to deal with. We'll just uh, blast it. Um, might as well just play it safe. There we go. Uh, shoot. shoot uh, oh, we didn't get two attacks. I was ready to just be like, we're shooting again. Or not? Oh, you'll kill it. Okay, cool. Uh, attack. I should have done that originally, but it's dead. Nice. Killed it. Awesome. So that was the easy one. <laughs> uh, we do have some others. We have a 10 somewhere? 10 right down the bottom. It doesn't look that strong. Elementals, however, are extremely out of position to fight it. 83. Could send the Hell Knights down there. Like, we could teleport them. It's an 18 uh, day thing. How do I, like, how do my elementals get there? Like, really, their only option is go round? Guess you're probably heading to Tyrant's Keep, so that's 95. Sure, we'll do that. This seems fine. We can always teleport in if we need to, and we'll just teleport in the alley battalion. Yeah, no problem. Uh, right. So. Skip. Um. Fire elemental creation. One thing that I do want to do, actually, while we're here, is just go into, like, some... It's go into one of these and just be like, okay, we're merging together. And then just find another one and be like, hey, we're merging. Uh, yeah, like you. Probably merging all the Bythos Aeons. There we go. To a strength 6 army. Uh, you could merge up. You know what? You join as well. That's fine. Cool. And now, now we've got much easier to look at a group here. Uh, we have a few in backup that I suppose could be uh, joined in. Yeah. Okay. So on this one. Yeah, you could join in there. Just doing a little cleanup. Just to make it easier to see what's going on. You're going to go south. Um, that's fine. Cool. I should probably teleport the alley battalion down there anyway. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, campaign. Back to elementals. 
yeah, these guys are walking around as well. That's fine. The reason I'm saying I should probably teleport the Alley Battalion down there anyways, because the Hell Knights probably are strong enough to face anything in the top part um, without much problem. It's okay. Right. Um, hit him. There we go. Delay. Delay. Uh, oh, now we might as well just attack. This one. It's not a lot of damage. That's a little bit more. Um, here. You might as well move forward. Attack like this. Yeah, move up here. Um... Should I figure out... Yeah, I think that's the one I want to do. Should I figure out what square they were on. That's fine. Head out this way. That's just the 21. You actually took a ton of damage attacking us. It's fine. Keep attacking. I uh, guess we don't need to teleport someone down as we appear to be fine. We did it! Woo! Okay, cool. Um, right. Oh, wait, that was the Strength 7 army. Not the Strength 10 army. Ah, yes. We still have to defeat this one. Straight down here. Let's go. So, um, obviously this. Incredible roll. Delay. Delay. Now we can start attacking. Uh, you're going to do zero damage. I'm not a huge fan of that, honestly. Attack. Up here. That's fine. Attack. Oh, and again. Then gonna use this here. Nice. Walk over this way. That's fine. Attack. Um, yeah. Walk over here. Walk over here. We should be fine. I think we're gonna kill it with this, so I wasn't really wanting to do anything too uh, crazy. Although, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, okay, that works. And I think we should be able to level up our general again, looking at our XP. Yeah, there we go. So, plus three to saving throws, uh, plus two to AC and damage per level of this feat, plus 15 to energy. Uh, let's take Magic Instructor. Yeah, because we don't need any more energy because they tend not to attack that, that much. Let's head over here. Awesome. Right, uh, back to this then, I guess. Do a little quick save. Um, I just, how long is it till we do this? One day, so two days basically. One day and 20 hours is two days. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, 10 fire elementals. Wonderful, we can do world wound researchers next just to do another of the same thing. Uh, and then, time manipulation. Cool, it's really three days because we have to skip another day to get these to finish. Having meticulously studied the notes, scholars and mages have discovered that Aurelia Vorlish was studying the connection that was established between the Material Plane and the Abyss Plane when the world wound opened. This is the same thing. These are the same notes. Okay. So now we've really studied her notes. <laughs> we really know what's going on now. Um, okay. Two spellcasters, a druid and a medium, are asking to be allowed access to the relic containing Baphomet's fire. The rituals will empower the relic, but the commander will have to choose who gets the right to approach the dark flame of the Lord of Beasts. So you can do a spell, which makes all the viewers' fire spells deal additional 46 fire damage. That's pretty good. That would be embers. Or, 
Whenever the wearer of the shirt kills an enemy with a fire spell, they gain immunity to ability damage and their ability scores are increased by plus 6 for 3 rounds. In addition, all the wearer's allies deal an additional 3d6 fire damage on unsuccessful attacks with weapons for 1 round. Okay. They're pretty good. Uh... I think I like the druids, I think, more, but still, very cool. The Grim Druid followed the howl of fiery creatures coming from the depths of Baphomet's flame, demanding to be set free. The Druid released the flaming monsters, drawing upon their remaining power to fill the unholy relic with bestial rage. Nice. Now, do we have anything left here? We do have a few fates down here. I do want to do them, so we're going to do them anyway. Because there's really appears to be no penalty for just doing them, so. Right, um. Then why don't I just do Bastion to Fortress while we're at it? Right. Skip day. Event. Wounded Dragon. Um during the exploration of Castlecombs under an ancient temple, soldiers have come upon a heavily wounded dragon. Uh, some someone has been putting these poor creatures through agonizing torture for years, driving it mad. The officers are uncertain what to do with the creature. Heal it, probably? Yeah, heal it. Priests and druids heal the dragon's body and mind with their magic. The poor thing is still weak and cannot fight, but wants to repay his saviors for their kindness. He revealed the location of treasures and hope that the gold will help the crusaders. Cool. Um, don't need any of this. Uh, skip day. That jumped us here like we'd just been attacked. We hadn't. Okay, cool. Just wanted to be sure. There we go. <laughs> uh, call the Aeons? Oh, sure, why not? But the more the merrier. Um, campaign. Elementals. Let's go. Okay, so we'll attack this one. Um, blast them. Alright, I'm a little worried. That's fine. Just gonna skip their turrets basically here. Blast them. Okay. Uh, just chill here. You just move forward. We're just trying to hem them in, basically. Yeah, this is fine. Kill. Wonderful. Head rounds. Continue hemming them in. There we go. Uh, blast them. Cool. Attack. Not for a ton of damage, but you know. Every little helps. Move forward. Uh, move forward. This is fine, I think. This is fine. Yeah, you're just going to stay there for just now. Um, does Fireball do more? No, they do like the exact same, but this has an extra effect. Cool. I'm deliberately staying back so I don't hit them with, uh, so I don't hit my own side of AOE because this is going to be a long fight. Okay, blast them. Cool. Continue just chilling. Blast them. Continue chilling. This is fine. We're now losing less and less of our um, unit each turn, which is working out pretty well for us. There we go. I'm just going to continue guarding because we're running out of uh, that unit. There we go. Another one. Yeah, okay. They're now doing barely anything to us. Blast them again. There we go. Cool. Absolutely the way that they, uh, they intended the fights to go. <laughs>
Right, um, down here. And defeat the next demon army, which we might actually kill in a singular hit. Nice. Uh, although, no, we don't have quite enough for, uh, area to kill them all in one hit. But you know, we're close. Uh, delay. Right, now we can hit this one. A couple of times. And a stab. And a stab. Cool. Stab it. And again. You can even move out the way and stab it. Move over here. Then in to hit it. That's fine. Not overly worried about that. Hit it. Um, blast you. Cool. Continue hitting the rock. Continue hitting the rock. Cool. Just continue, uh, you know, stab away. Get it eventually. There was a huge bit of damage. And now it's dead. Wonderful. That one is thoroughly uh, destroyed. And we'll just move our way back up here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Um, back to this. Wait, they were the only ones attacking us, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, skip day. Royal Conscription is back. Uh, skip day. Awesome. Right, events. The fate of the Dirty Squealer. A wizard with a dark past and a fearsome reputation claims to be familiar with the rituals of the um, Omoxes, who serve the demon lord Jubilex. He will extract the Crimson Shard of Mika to replace the Eye of the Mud Golem captured in battle and place it in the commander's gear. If all goes well, the power hidden inside the stone will flow into the item onto which it is placed. It's necessary to decide what kind of item it will be. Amulet or belt? Uh, belt. Sure. Why not? Uh, sure. Do that one, just to continue doing things. Also makes it easier to see which ones that we still need to do on the other ones if, like, they're greyed out. I suppose I could just, like, click on the right one, but it doesn't really matter. Um, skip day. Um, so we're now enhancing. There we go. Worldwind researchers we can do again. Event. Uh, you can call me helper. The soldiers are telling stories about a spirit who comes to them in times of need and introduces himself as the Helper. His arrival is accompanied by ominous signs such as raining blood or the smell of carrion, but he saves warriors and demands nothing in return. Um, send a Rushle to find the spirit. Knowledge of the Chosen Ones. All generals gain plus 3 to power and a plus 10 to energy. That's pretty good. Plus 1 to reduction of losses. Hunt down the spirit. Yeah, the Hunt Spirit Decree. Provides trophy from evil spirit. A elder caustic necrotic quarterstaff. Cool. Uh, Arushali, do it. Having joined forces with Arushali, the cleric soon find the spirit. He told them that he used to be a servant to an evil spellcaster who made him commit heinous deeds. After his master's death, the spirit tried to atone for his sins. The cleric helped him purge himself of all evil and in gratitude the helper revealed his magical secrets to them. Awesome. Also, how, how long? Four days. Okay. Uh, skip day. Skip day. Uh, I think that means we're about to be attacked tomorrow. There we go. Enemy reached you and now attacks. Ah, I think they're attacking our um, 12 strength army. Yeah. They are. Um, kill them. And kill them. Cool. <laughs> really seems like the best plan you've ever had to attack us.
Right, uh, we have another 10 strength army up there and an 8 strength army down here. An 8 strength army. Oh, Fate of the Wicked Dope first. Do I want banded mail or do I want a quarter staff of dope? <laughs> um, I love the band. Oh no, I love the quarter stat. They're both terrible. I'll I'll have the banded mail of dope. Okay. Uh, talented armorer crafted the fine banded mail by cutting off withered vines from the wicked dope staff and using them to join the parts of the armor, giving the poisoned power of the dark, giving it the poison power of the dark relic. Awesome. We'll now do enhancing the dirty squealer. How long have we got left on that one? One day odds? Okay. Uh, you know what, elementals? Oh, have a little extra strength. And then go fight this army. Which you can do tomorrow. Okay, Hell Knights. Yeah, you can fight this one. That maybe gets a little uh, level up on her as well. Not that it matters anymore, but you know. Just something to do. Right, uh, you do have Scorching Ray now. Yeah, hit the Lich. Move forward. There we go, hit it. Okay, did a little summon, but we're not too worried about that. Shoot the Lich. And again. Really thinking the Lich was the main problem here. Um, you're going to hit these guys. Twice. We do get hit a little bit back. Heal. Uh, then move forward. Uh, fireball. Pretty good, uh, and I'm one of those. Attack. And again. And attack. And attack. And shoot. Um, yeah, sure, attack. Grave Knight's got one more attack on them there. Uh, yeah, hit him with one of these. Wonderful. I do like how our three armies have a, you know, a sort of a different style between them. Like, that one's more of, like, the how I think you're meant to play the game style. We have our alley battalion, which is all archers. And then we have our elementals, which are uh, blow them up with fireball. Um, so, I like that there's just, a, you know, a couple of different things that we're doing there. Chuck that one on there just so that we're done. Uh, right. One day and a bit. So skip day. Ah, yes. Uh, that's fine. Call the Aeons is now available. Enhancing the Wicked Dope is now available. Back down here. Back to the Elementals. You're now going to attack. Wonderful. Let's go. So, um, blast them. Possibly could have done that better. Delay is these are melee units, so you want them to run into you. Run forward. You get two moves, which is great. Uh, you can also run up. Uh, just move behind again, just so we've opened up more space for these guys to walk in and attack. Just through whatever the most optimal path is. There we go. We'll surround it on four corners for no reason. Hit a couple of times. Early even need to use any more uh, magic. But I don't think I will. Yeah. This is fine. No issue. Kill it. Run along here. Kill it. Nice. Alright, so that's that one done. Now move this one back over to the right. Uh, to like... 
I do think here is pretty good. Yeah. Somewhere along that line, I think, is good, so they can cover both sides. Yeah, that seems fine. Right, uh, how long have we got till this? 23 hours. Now, we're kind of wasting it if we do it right away. Yeah, I think we want to wait and do it for enhancing the Wicked Dope. Skip day. Skip day. Fire Elemental Creation is now available again. New event, Feasts. Uh, the Sikorian land is full of dangerous creatures and abyss uh, poison beasts. A pack of mon a large pack of monsters migrated to the Crusaders' territory and made its lair somewhere in the vicinity of Dresden. And teach the soldiers how to deal with beasts. So we get the Monster Slayer Decree, which gets us ready for anything for 60 days. Or, find and clear out the nest of uh, the den nest. Doesn't matter, I'll take that one, I guess. Right, um, skip day. Nest cleanup. Sure, do that. Um, so now I should be able to do that, but I think you have to wait a day for it anyway. Skip day. Wonderful. World Wound Researchers is now available again. We have a new event. Enhancing the Dirty Squealer. Um, the power of the Stone of Jubilex is ready to awaken all that must be decided as the nature of the unholy ritual to manifest it. A plea to become a herald of the Prince of Ooze or a quest to be, uh, for his dark guardianship. Plus two to con. Whenever the wearer is attacked, they have to pass a reflex saving throw. Voice of the Faceless. Whenever the wearer is mounted and they or their mount confirms a critical hit against an enemy, the enemy is afflicted with exploding head effect for 1d3 rounds. Uh, they start to hear loud noises, suffering a minus two penalty to attack and damage rolls. Uh, not useful, but we'll take it. Jubilex heard the call and answered it. Uh, okay. Not sure we're okay with that one, but there you have it. Uh, enhancing the Wicked Dope. We'll then skip time. And then skip a day. We got that one done. We got that one done. And we've cleaned up the nest. We now have nothing that we need here. All of these are just repeatables. Apart from Xanthir, which we were ignoring, and Last Forces, which we're ignoring. Uh, do we want to banish the dope or distill the dope? Whenever this, uh, the wearer of this plus four banded mail is hit, the wearer gets fast healing one stacks up to ten until the end of combat. Or, uh, what this plus three banded mail grants the wearer frosty as per the universal monster rule. Uh, a creature of frosty remains conscious and can continue fighting even if its hit point um, total is below zero. Uh, this is terrible. Yeah. Um, the reason why I think this is terrible is because we had a character in Kingmaker who had this effect, right? But the problem is, if your hit points are below zero, you you just die immediately. Like, you would just die immediately, right? Um, that moment the frosty wears off, like you will get, you'll become mega dead. But if your hit points go below zero and you don't you don't become mega dead, you can just stand up at the end of combat. So this is why that is kind of bad. Unless you have a lot of reses, which, to be fair, we do have a lot of reses. Anyway, we're not going to use either of these, let's be honest with you here. Um, we'll distill the dope. Some practitioners of the Green Faith are convinced that the plague druid Suluma, or, or Sulema, was right in their delirious um, epiphanies. They, with the permission of the commander, they pronounced their prayers over his relic to impregnate it with their strength and faith. All right, we have now finished everything that we need to finish. All of the relics are finished. It's been a lot of time in that crusade screen, but we are now completely and utterly finished with everything. There is one more person I want to speak to in Dresden, and then I think we're ready to go. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to speak to them, we're going to rest, and then I'm going to then we're going to be ready to go, I think. Um right. Just do our save. Right. First of all, Ember, I believe you're the only person with anything that we actually needed here. Yeah, Call of the Fiery Things. I think this is better. If it works with your lightning fire spells, which it should, because it says fire spells, not spells that do fire damage. This doesn't change the spell from a fire spell. It just... Um, makes the, yeah, it just makes all of their spells do electric damage. 
So I would argue that this should still do an additional 4d6 fire damage. Anyway. Um, she also looks a little bit less like she's in rags now. I mean, she still has some, but you know. Uh, the rest of the stuff we picked up was not really worth it. I'm going to chuck it into this box. Right, uh, so that can go in there, that can go in there. Um, actually, these are probably pretty good. We will probably use those, but we'll use we'll put them on whatever archer we're going to have with us. Uh, oh, I think it has to be a Rushali. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's a discussion to have. I don't know whether we want to have it now or, or next time as to who we bring with us. In, in my head, I'm just going... Arushale's kind of a guaranteed. Sela seems like she's a guaranteed. Um, Uljif, however, also is high on my list. I kind of want to bring move. Ember over Nenio, if I have to choose between them. Because I think that she'll have more story stuff. Darren's guaranteed. Mm. Yeah, that kind of makes our party, doesn't it? Anyway, hello. I have suspicions about you. I think your story about the Rat King was supposed to warn me that Discari would show up in Is and try to kill me. Wow, I feel flattered that you think so highly of me. But, of course, but are you being serious? Are you honestly accusing me of disclosing the secret plans of Discari himself? If you are, I'm really at a loss to ex uh, explain why you're standing in front of me now empty-handed. Shouldn't you be pr um, presenting me with a sack of gold and a big cake with thank you, Krinuk? You're the best spy in the world, written in frosting on top. Stop pretending, there have been too many odd coincidences already. Just tell me how you know so much. Krenuk calmly levels uh, you with a look. I promise to help you, which is what I'm doing. I never promise to close, disclose how I got my uh, how I get my information. Mind you, I could have chosen to play the part um, of the lucky but not so smart Cobalt. A useful scout brings precious reports. But I chose not to do that. So now um, I don't know how to be any more direct and sincere with you. So a mere thank you from you would be enough, or do you suspect me of something? I doubt it. You're just cranky because you don't have the full picture. I'm sorry, but you'll have to learn to live with that. You can live. You can you can live. Mm. Mm. He, he's, he's bugging me, but I think that he's bugging me because the devs put him in because they want you to uh, be bugged, that you don't have the full story. I, I think they're trying to row you up. Be like, Huh? We gave you a little bit of a clue, but we're not going to tell you why. It's going to leave it as a mystery. Right. Did it just change loading screen mid loading screen? Anyway, um, scroll of re greater restoration. Yep, there we go. Let's go. Well. What's it like to sleep on the ground and subsist on rations? It must seem like torture to you. Nobles wouldn't normally sink so low. Hardly. Do you know how my antecedents amassed all the wealth I now enjoy? They slept on the ground and subsisted on rations until they got what they wanted. Oh. Okay then. Right. So, it is time for us to head out. I'm going to click on the outside. March on. Area exit. We're ready to go. I don't believe there is anything that we need to do at this point. Let's just clear our party. I think that Sela is somebody I want to bring along. She seems like she fits as like a main character. So, she kind of feels like she should come with us. Like, Greybor, his story is done. Nenio, your story is done. Sosil, your story is done, right? There's nothing more for you to have. Rachel, you're a little bit single-minded. I don't think that you're really the right person for us to bring here. I think I'm going to bring Wolgif. Why do you have a dexterity trait? We'll fix that. Um, You know, we could fix that now. Why does he have a dexterity drain on him? He's lost three abilities. He must have had that for like those must have been gone for ages. Let's do a little copied spellbook. A little copied spellbook. What is this anyway? 
Scroll of Caustic Eruption. Oh, yeah. A little copy of the spellbook. A little copy of the spellbook. Just while we're here. Uh, a little copy of the spellbook. Uh, right, where's my rester... Oh, copy that spellbook. That's actually look a, a good one. That's the uh, AoE. I don't know if he has a spell slot in that one, though. Uh, scroll of Restoration. There we go. Right. So we fixed him up a little bit here. Oh, we got another one that he hasn't learned. Copy the spellbook. Copy the spellbook. Just clear out our inventory one spell at a time. What's this one? Scroll of Gra uh, Dragon Kind, I see. Yeah, I never use those. Yeah, one there. Oh, and that one there. Oh, and that one there. I, I, I don't know whether these are appearing after I learn like other ones or whether like I'm just missing them the first time round. I suspect that I'm missing them the first time round. You know what? Even if we're not planning on using Nanio, let's at least make Nanio uh, usable or like the best that she can be. We'll, we'll give her all of these. I'm fairly certain that we just learned Fireball. <laughs> I would have thought she'd have that by now, but anyway. Right. So now we've done that. Again, area exit. So clear out our squad. Sela. We're then also going to bring along Wolgif. Aaron. Right? That seems like a solid fr uh, front part of our party. I don't think there's any question as to these being our people. Because Regil isn't coming with us. Sosil isn't coming with us. Greybor isn't coming with us. So therefore, the only other melee is Wolgif. And Wolgif has kind of a demon connection, and I like bringing them along to um, these kind of things. Wish I'd brought them along to Baphomet's thing, but we had other people who had cool things to say anyway. We are doubling up on trickery, but I'll live. Right. Now, for the back line, Arushale seems too good not to bring. As in, like, she's got, she's a demon, she's got a lot of connections to all of the main plot points going on. She seems, like, really good. Lan also seems interesting, but he's really single-mindedly like, I'm going to kill demons, and his story is kind of done same with Regil's, right? There's not really a... He's kind of resolved his internal issues, and he's he's fine now. So I think that it would make more sense to bring along Arushali. And out of our two spellcasters, like, as much as I think that Nenio would be cool to bring along, I think that Ember has much more to say. So that would be our party. Oh, I guess this does also mean that we can bring along Wolgif as our haste user, which kind of works pretty well. Yeah. Okay. That, that works. Um, now, if it makes us fight with our backup squad, are we happy? We got a healer, we got two melee fighters, we got an archer, and we got a mage. I'm happy. I don't think it's going to do that, but it is a trope of many games that sometimes they're like, Hey, nearing the final area... Here's your party that you took, and then here's your party you didn't take off doing their thing. I mean, it's unlikely to happen in this game because they haven't set it up. But, you know, if it does happen, we have a, you know, perfectly acceptable backup party. So let's go. Right. Uh, are we being attacked actively? No. Okay. Oh, it says, oh, we have a neat, we have the Bastion to whatever expansion. Let me just do that while we're here. Cool. Um, not that I really cared which one got upgraded. I just wanted to do it at that point, just so it, it doesn't appear there. Just so we can do that to get rid of the uh, little exclamation mark. I love how big these guys are. <laughs> they, they appear way too late to actually use them, but I, I love how much space they take up on your thing for only, and they also count as one army size. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, we're probably going to teleport to here, I guess. Yeah, wait, do we even have the teleport here? I'll go into crusade map mode. Just have a look. We should do, right? Uh, Yeah, teleportation circle. So I reckon what we're going to do next time is we're going to teleport to the teleportation circle, walk to threshold. Wait, do we get to threshold here? Through this route? Or do we get to... Oh, we get to it through this route because that's where the demon army was, right? 
But then there is also the last barrier right there. So maybe we get to it through this route. So maybe we actually want to go to the Castle of Desires that we just upgraded. Okay, we're going to teleport to whichever one is correct. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go to Threshold, which I think is probably the final dungeon of the game. Yeah. The only thing we haven't done is restoring the Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak. Did we just not find enough for that? All right, I'm going to re-enter. I, I know that we've just literally left with our final party. We're ready to go. We're wrapping up. And I'm like, there's one other thing we didn't do. <laughs> do we just not get to restore this cloak? Maybe it was a choice at some point. Like, maybe we just didn't, literally didn't have enough things. Or maybe we have enough to restore something now and we just haven't gone back. It might be that on other routes you get other fights that give you these items. But on this one, we didn't really get anything. Hmm. We did also expel a bunch of people earlier in the game as an Aeon. So it could be that they sold you these things as well. I don't know. Or maybe you have to go into Threshold and walk all the way back to Dresden once you find the item that you need. Right. Hello. Oh, this mask, this item, I feel a particular kinship with it, as if it calls to me. Remarkable. Shall we? Ooh, see if you can find out anything about this mask. The storyteller touches the mask reluctantly and his eyebrows immediately shoot up. I see darkness, cold, endless, hiding numerous secrets. I feel someone's presence in the darkness. Someone is waiting for me there. This mask is a torch designed to pierce the darkness and reveal age-old secrets. Just put it on and... The elf brings the mask to his face, but suddenly stops. And still, I sense deceit. It's as if by agreeing to wear this mask, I will learn much, but I'll lose just as much. The storyteller gulps, a frightened expression crossing his face. I sense this mask was meant for me. It's a trap they tried to lure me into a long time ago, when they still thought I was the Archmage of Kionan, This, uh, and was looking for a way to reunite Galarian and the Abyss. Unfortunately for the hunter, I was too engrossed in my research to pay attention to the bait. Please take it. I am not interested in it. Um, I was not interested in it back, it, uh, back then, and I do not need it now. Oh, okay, cool. That must be the one that we got from Kinney. And we don't have enough for the cloak. What am I missing for the cloak? Uh, cloak. We are missing. So we need five magic essence, two uh, cold iron, uh, two demon blood, and three hides of magical creatures. It doesn't say that this is the last act in which this can be done, which is kind of funny. So I guess maybe we can do it once we go to, um, yeah, once we go to Dresden. Let's see what we got. Um, so we have one hide. We have two cold iron. So two cold iron are done. We have the mag. So we have the magic essence, the cold iron, one out of three hides, and then two vials of demon blood is the last one. We have one, so we need uh, two hides and one demon blood. Okay, so we've, we um, we could probably get those at threshold, but the question is whether we can Onwards. come back and make it. I don't know. If you need all those things, that cloak must be really good. Anyway, uh, you've heard enough of me talking. I think it is probably time that we leave here, and next time we will set out on our journey to Threshold in order to face Aurelu Vorlesh, hopefully not die, and become an Aeon and just explore the universe uh, righting wrongs. That's the plan. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.